Hey everyone, welcome back to My Favorite Crafty Things. I've shared a lot of different topics so far in this series, but today is probably my favorite. It's all about organization. Now I've got all kinds of organization tricks that I've shared before. I'm just going to share a few of my favorites here and maybe you'll find something that'll work well, well for you too. First of all, for small embellishment storage, I think this is a tricky one and I've tried different things throughout the year and I finally found something that I love. These are the Craftmates containers. I like these because they lock and are secure. You just push this purple button over here and unlocks it and you can open the little compartments. I have all my wood veneer stored in these. You can put special buttons, any, any type of small embellishments in here. And when you close it, it locks. And the only way you can unlock it is pushing that button. So if you drop it, they won't go flying. This is just a fantastic, easy thing to grab. Now this is the smaller of the two, but it has 14 larger compartments. And I put labels on the bottom side of it so I know what brand each of the pieces are. So you can put labels on anywhere. I like to leave the top clear so I can see it in it easily. Now the other Craftmates that I use is this one that's larger, but the containers are smaller. And this has 28 spots in it. And this is perfect for your sequins or any kind of smaller embellishments. So the a little unit of four pops right out. And I put my son helped me put these labels on the side here. And again, you push the purple button and it unlocks it so you can open it. So you can be sure that you won't end up with a billion sequins all over the floor if you drop this. Sequins are really popular and I think this is the best storage that I found for them by far. Again, a unit of four pops out, but it, then it pops right back into this white container and it keeps it nice and secure so you don't have to worry about them falling around. Next, I have an organizer that I use for all my important tools. I've shared this before, but my love for it has grown, so I wanted to share it again. This is the Boone Organizer. Now, it comes in a few different colors. I have the white, and you can see all of these little compartments are tilted, so they kind of tilt towards you. You could hang this on the wall if you wanted to, have them tilting up, or you can set it on your desk. I actually have mine in a drawer, and I have all my favorite tools within reach right next to me. My favorite adhesives, scissors, pencils, everything is right here. I love this thing. I actually have three of them, but this is the one that's closest to me. It's a hard to find um, item, but you can get it on their website, and I just love it. So that's something handy to keep those tools nearby. Now, I also have another container that I have on my desk for to use products. So products I've gotten recently that I want to remember to use or something that I have an idea for. This is a Linus packet organizer. It's meant for your um, pantries, but it fits my stamp storage and die storage perfectly, which I'll show you in a little bit, and then also little embellishments in the front. It's a nice small container, so it doesn't take up much room on your desktop. You could also use this as a container where you put things when you're done with them and before you put them away. I'm a big um, fan of having a spot to put things when you're done with them, and then you just carry that container around while you go and put things away after you're done with your project. It helps to keep your desk tidy, which I found really helps me with creativity. So this little organizer it doesn't cost a whole lot of, a lot of money, and it's a perfect little thing to have on your desk. Now, if you've been to my blog before, you know I've shared before my clear and cling stamp storage. So I'm just going to show it real quickly here, and I will put a link to the other videos I've done on this. This is how I store my clear and cling stamps. This is a fridge bin. It's actually meant to go in your fridge and hold soda cans, but I found it's a super strong and durable clear container that holds my stamps very well. It also store. This is what I also store my finished cards in that I want to send out to people. It's just a great dimension. So I have all my clear and cling stamps in little pockets. The pockets that I use are the Avery L stamp pockets. They hold clear and cling stamps perfectly. I have white paper cut to fit inside, or you can buy the inserts from Simon Says Stamp, but I just cut my own. So you can put these into this container, or any kind of CD storage container is usually the right width for these pockets. I also put a little label across the top so that I know exactly what is in there for reference. I find that by taking my stamps out of the packaging they come in and putting them in this pocket, I stay so much more organized and everything stays neat and tidy. For dividers, I've just cut up pla inexpensive plastic folders. That's what these yellow pieces are and put a label across the top of them. They're just nice and sturdy and good for dividers. Now I also use this fringe, fridge bins for lots of other organization. I keep my distress stains in here, my distress paints. You can stack them if you want to. And I even you can even keep your dye storage in there, which I'm about to show you. As you can see it fits here. It's just a good size and nice and sturdy. Okay, so for dye organization, I've showed this before too. So I'm going to put a little link here so you can see a more complete video about this. 
Now for my dyes, I like to keep them in a smaller container. This is the Linus Medium Organizer. It's just a nice size. It's got the handle on the front and it fits the dye storage pockets I use perfectly. So you can see I have them divided up into categories by alphabetical order. This works for me, but you could go by manufacturer if you wanted to. And I use these little Simon Says Stamp die pockets. I really like these pockets because they are just the right size for most dies. You can even put a border die in there on a diagonal and it works fine. You can also get the Memorex CD pockets. It's the same size, same kind of thing. It's got a flap on the back with another tiny flap that you can tuck it into so it stays nice and secure. So you won't lose your dies, they won't fall out. Another thing you can do is if you die cut a few extra, you can keep them in the back of the pocket so that you can have them for quick um, access later. Now I also, if I've got a bunch of dies like this one where there's a bunch of dies together, I'll cut up a piece of a magnetic sheet and keep it in there so it keeps all the dies together without them rubbing, like kind of piling up on top of each other so it's easy for me to see and get into. So these little magnetic pieces are great. You can just cut any size you need. I also tape some magnetic sheets to the inside of my uh, cabinets where I stick some of the dies that I reach for all the time, like my little tiny hearts or star dies. So there's a lot you can do with those magnetic sheets too. I'm really happy with th this die storage system. It works really well for me. So now I wanted to talk a little bit about ink organization. I also have done a video on this in the past, so I will put a little link for that also. My favorite piece is this big uh, 48 ink pad organizer from Organize More. I keep mine in a cabinet, but you could hang it on the wall, set it on a counter, whatever you want. I have my most often used inks in here. I have another one that has my Memento Lux inks and other things. So I have these in a cabinet together. I find it quick and easy to get to the inks this way. I, I love this unit. It's from Organize More and I will have a giveaway and discount on my blog. So I put a little label on each side of my ink pad so no matter how it goes in, I can quickly see what the ink is. It works well for me. Now if you don't have room for a big container like this, Another option are the medium uh, Linus containers that I showed you before with dyes in them. You can put inks in them. Now I will store my inks in, on the side. I don't have any problems with doing that. You can rotate them if you want to or you can stack the inks up in there if you prefer. But I like these containers also for other inks. Uh, it works really well. It's just a good size container. Now for my distress inks, I have the 36 uh, distress ink organizer from Organizer More and it's supposed to stand up and you can put your like your refill bottles in those holes but I have mine laying down and I put my ink applicators in those holes so it's just another option I have this in a drawer for easy access uh, I again I put labels on the side of all of my ink pads so no matter how they go in I know what the color is and also I put a little label on the side of my ink applicators if you, it's really not necessary to have this many ink applicators, you can have one and use a piece of Velcro to stick the foam onto the bottom of the ink pad so you can switch it out every time you use a different color. But whatever works best for you, I love, love these Organize More containers. Now you've seen me use a label maker throughout this video. I love my label maker. I'm, I use it every day. I like the Brother P-Touch label maker. This is the label maker. Now there is a trick to it. I'm going to show you in a moment what makes this one awesome. But let me show you, you can open up easily and change the cartridge. This is the half inch label cartridge that I use for most of the things. Just take some batteries here, you can pop that little cartridge in, no problem, it's very quick and easy to do. I like this half inch label because you can put two lines of text on it. That's what I have here for labeling all of my stamps and dies. I put the manufacturer and then the product name. But if you wanted to, you could cut it in half and have a narrow, or you can just do a big font on this label. So you have lots of options with the half inch label. Now I just use a basic font for this, but this, uh, this uh, machine comes with a billion different fonts and fancy features. I, I don't fuss with them, I just use the basic. So you could cut this down the middle and have this smaller label like I have here on this ink pad. In a moment I'm going to show you the other option for that. But first I want to show you a trick on how to conserve your label and not waste as much. If you just use this as is, it'll print out your little label with a lot of extra label before and after that goes to waste. Here's the trick. When you get your machine, turn it on, hit menu, and you'll see the first option is margin. Click OK. It'll say full, but what you want to do is use the arrow till you get to chain print. This will allow you to print a bunch of labels at once, then cut it and put little scissor cuts between them. Hit OK once you get to chain, chain print and then leave it this way. So from now on you will have chain print and it won't waste any space between it. Let me show you how this works. 
So I type the company name first. You'll see the line number one up there. Then I hit enter, and I'm on the second line. So this will be the second line of text. And then I type, type the, main, uh, the name of the stamp set, and I hit print. Now you'll see, and I hit print twice because I only want one. Instead of OK to feed, I hit escape. Then I go ahead and I create another label here. So this time it's Hero Arts Canvas Background. So I'm going to type that in, hit print twice, and it's printing. And it'll say OK to feed, hit escape. This allows me to do several labels at once, and they're all connected. They're chained together. Once you're done, instead of hitting escape, hit OK. And now you can push the button on the side to cut it, and you'll see that all your labels are close together, so you're not wasting a bunch of space in between. If you don't do the chain print, you have a lot of space in between. And then I just cut these apart, and I'm ready to go add these onto my envelopes. This saves a lot of label. There's a little split on the back of the release paper so that you can easily take it off and stick it wherever you want to. Now again, this is the half inch label. If you want something narrow, you could cut it down the center or get the quarter inch label refill. That's what this one is. It easily, you can switch them out and pop them back in whenever you want. And you get one line of text here. So say I want to make a label for all four sides of my ink pad. I'll type in the product or the color name. Then I'll hit print. And instead of one, I'm just going to hit four and then hit print again. And then it'll print all four close together. Once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then, because I want to feed it, which just kind of spits it out, and then you'd push the button to cut it. And there I have my four colors for the side of my ink pad. So the quarter inch label is great for that. Okay, so now I just wanted to show you a few more containers. Um, this is just a basic container that I found is really handy to have, and it holds a lot of, it's just the right size to hold a lot of different things. It's a Linus 6x6x6 six by six by six organizer. I still have the labels on mine. I keep these in drawers, and you'll see here they're the perfect width to hold some note cards. So if you have a lot of note cards, this is a great storage for it. You could also keep this in that fridge bins I showed you earlier. I just like these because they are a good size. They've got the handles on the side that you can pick up and carry. I keep mine in a drawer with some others, but it could work on the shelf too. I also keep my acrylic blocks in this too. So lots of different tools will fit in here. Just a handy one to have. Now if you're looking for something more fun that can be out on your shelf and kind of look fun, I have some of these Pantone storage boxes. I've shown it on Instagram before and I got a lot of questions so I thought I'd show you here. I have a bunch of these in my office and they come in a bunch of different colors. I just think they're fun. I have the yellow, the gray, and the teal. They're nice metal storage containers that aren't too heavy. This one here has uh, all my Distress Ink refills in it. I keep things that I don't reach for as much in these and you can stack them up nicely. That has some refills for my adhesives. And these are just fun colored containers that you can keep. Good size to hold all different kinds of crafty stuff. Now in my craft room, I have a few things that I like to keep on display. Maybe some prints that a friend has given me or some cards that I've just done recently. Anything. I found these large metal clips and I think they're so much fun. They come in a pack of three. One, there's something that I like about these is they lay nicely up against the wall. I took this one off the wall so that I could show you easily. You can see it just opens up and it clamps nicely onto a card. You could hang a couple cards in here and it'll just lay flat against the wall. See if it was up against the wall, it'd lay flat. Just a fun way to add a display. So there are some fun organization and storage tips for you. I have links to all these products listed below in the YouTube description. Or you can go over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com where I share a lot more ideas and a lot more links. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.